Pashupata Shaivism Pasupatha, Sanskrit, Pasupatha is the oldest of the major Shaivite Hindu schools. There is a debate about pioneership of this school and Goan school of Nikulish Darshan believes that Nikulish was pioneer and Lakulish and Patanjalinath were his disciples while Gurat school believes that Nikulish and Lakulish are one. Sarvdarshansingra written by Madhavachari mentiones it as Nikulish Darshan, not as Lakulish Darshan. Both sub-schools are still active in their own areas. The philosophy of the Pashapada sect was systematized by Lakalisa also called Nakalisa in the 2nd century AD. The main texts of the school are Pasupathasutra with Kaundinya's Pankarthabhasya, and Ganakarika with Basarvanya's Ratnadika. Both texts were discovered only in the 20th century. Prior to that, the major source of information on this sect was a chapter devoted to it in Vidyaranya's Sarvadarshanasangraha. Topic. Date The date of foundation of the school is uncertain. However, the Pashapadas may have existed from the 1st century CE. Gavin Flood dates them to around the 2nd century CE. They are also referred to in the epic Mahabharata which is thought to have reached a final form by 4th century CE. The Pashapada movement was influential in South India in the period between the 7th and 14th century, but it no longer exists. Topic. Overview Pashapata Shaivism was a devotional bhakti and ascetic movement. Pashu in Pashapati refers to the effect or created world, the word designates that which is dependent on something ulterior. Whereas, Pati means the cause or principium, the word designates the Lord, who is the cause of the universe, the Pati, or the ruler. To free themselves from worldly fetters Pashapatas are instructed to do a Pashapata Vrata. Atharvasira's Upanishad describes the Pashapada Vrata as that which consists of besmearing one's own body with ashes and at the same time muttering mantra, Agni is ashes, Vayu is ashes, Sky is ashes, all this is ashes, the mind, these eyes are ashes. Haridatacharya, in Ganakarika, explains that a spiritual teacher is one who knows the eight pentads and the three functions. The eight pentads of acquisition result of expedience, impurity evil in soul, expedient means of purification, locality aids to increase knowledge, perseverance endurance in pentads, purification putting away impurities, initiation and powers are The three functions correspond to the means of earning daily food mendicancy, living upon alms, and living upon what chance supplies. Topic. Philosophy Pashapatas disapprove of the Vaishnava theology, known for its doctrine servitude of souls to the Supreme Being, on the grounds that dependence upon anything cannot be the means of cessation of pain and other desired ends. They recognize that those depending upon another and longing for independence will not be emancipated because they still depend upon something other than themselves. According to Pashapatas, spirits possess the attributes of the Supreme Deity when they become liberated from the germ of every pawn. In this system the cessation of pain is of two kinds, impersonal and personal. Impersonal consists of the absolute cessation of all pains, whereas the personal consists of development of visual and active powers like swiftness of thought, assuming forms at will etc. The Lord is held to be the possessor of infinite, visual, and active powers. Panhartha Bhashyadipika divides the created world into the insentient and the sentient. The insentient is unconscious and thus dependent on the conscious. The insentient is further divided into effects and causes. The effects are of ten kinds, the earth, four elements and their qualities, color etc. The causes are of thirteen kinds, the five organs of cognition, the five organs of action, the three internal organs, intellect, the ego principle and the cognizing principle. These insentient causes are held responsible for the elusive identification of self with non-self. The sentient spirit, which is subject to transmigration is of two kinds, the appetent and non-appetent. The appetent is the spirit associated with an organism and sense organs, whereas the non-appetent is the spirit without them. Union in the Pashapada system is a conjunction of the soul with God through the intellect. It is achieved in two ways, action and cessation of action. Union through action consists of pious muttering, meditation etc. and union through cessation of action occurs through consciousness. Topic. Rituals 
Rituals and spiritual practices were done to acquire merit or punya. They were divided into primary and secondary rituals, where primary rituals were the direct means of acquiring merit. Primary rituals included acts of piety and various postures. The acts of piety were bathing thrice a day, lying upon sand and worship with oblations of laughter, song, dance, sacred muttering etc. Postures involved absurd actions such as, snoring or showing signs of being asleep while awake, limping, wooing or gestures of an enamorato on seeing a young and pretty woman, talking nonsensically etc. Secondary rituals involved bearing marks of purity after bathing. Topic. Beliefs and practices Lakhalisa is credited with authorship of the Panchartha in which devotees are instructed to bathe thrice a day and lie on the dust or ashes. This Pasupatha vow is also described in the Atharvasiras Upanishad. The Pasupatas worshipped Lord Shiva as God Almighty. They would bathe their body three times a day in sand, lie in ashes, sing bhajans of Shiva. Laughing was also an important Pasupatha practice, as was physically shaking and meditation. They call the union moksha with Shiva. Rudrasai Jujya. Topic: <laughs> Five major principles. According to Govind Chandra Pand, there are given major principles which the Pasupatha members adhere to. Creature. Karya Creator Karana Esoteric worship Yoga Ritual Vishi Salvation Dukhanta Topic <laughs> Sects The Pasupatas are known to have had sects within the Pasupatha sect For example the Lakhalans are said to be a subsect the Tripurantaka sect are also said to be the same. Their scripture is the Sintra Prashasti. They were found in Gujarat up to the Chalukya era. The Lalikisa Sasana were another sect. It is said that Lakhalisa became the name of the Pasupatha sects at least after the 11th century CE. The Lakhalan sect is also known by the names Lakhalasamaya, Lakula, Lanjana, Laguda, Langala, Nakula. Vakula Topic Pasupadism historically practiced Temples with the carvings of Lakhalisa are found in western regions of India as that is where it originated although it is also found in the east as far as Orissa south to Tamil Nadu and north to Kashmir Topic Western India The practice of course began in western India and so spread amongst areas of the west. Many images of Lakula have been found in areas such as Rajasthan. Ferguson assigned temples from Rajasthan down to Andhra as belonging to the Pasapadas. The region around Mount Abu was the principal place of Paswapta activities. Madhya Pradesh too has a treasure of images of Lakula found from places like Mansur, Ujjain, etc. Along with other forms of Shiva, there is a painting of Lakhalisa in an Ellora cave of Maharashtra. <inaudible> Northern India The form of Savism in Kashmir during the early period was of the Pasupatha sect. According to a tradition recorded in the Mahabharata, the doctrine of Pasupatha was first preached by Shiva Srikantha. Shiva Srikantha was regarded in the valley to as the promulgator or Sivagama or Agamanta Savism which included the system of the Pasupatha. <laughs> Southern India In Tamil Nadu, it is known to have existed in the modern-day district of Tiruvadir, and in Kashmir in Payar, where there are Lakhalisa figures found. In Tamil Nadu, it also existed in Tanjore and Nagapatnam. According to the findings of the Archaeological Survey of India, Bijaladeva of the Chalukyan Empire of Southern India and parts of Northern India, donated a gift in the service to God. The gift was made after washing the feet of Divyasakti Panditadeva, a Lakhalan. Nepal As the Hinduism Today article reports.
A 7th century Chinese traveller, Huan Tsiang, wrote that 10,000 Pashapadas then occupied Varanasi. The Pashapada tradition spread to Nepal in the 8th century, where the now famous Pashapatinath temple became a prime pilgrimage centre and remains so to this day. At its medieval zenith, Pashapadism blanketed western, northwestern and southeastern India, where it received royal patronage. In the 15th century, it retreated to its strongholds of Gujarat, Nepal and the Himalayan hills. March 1994. Pashapada Savism. It is believed by some scholars that they may have been absorbed into other sects such as the Kanpatha Yoga, to King Ishtanga's rule 915-930 CE is attributed the building of a Pasupatha temple. There is a Nikulshavara temple complex in Kalagata, West Bengal. Indonesia It has been theorized by a few scholars such as Dale Hoiberg and Indu Ramchandani state that the sect existed in Cambodia and Java, Indonesia. Reference in scriptures The Pasupatha beliefs are summarized in the Pasapurtha Sutra. This text was rediscovered in 1930 and is attributed to Lakhalisa himself. Bamdarkar attributes the Atharva Sarasto the Pasapadas. Also, in the text, their vow is recorded. The Mahabharata claimed that he was a son of Lord Brahma and taught people the Pasupatha system. In the Mahabharata, Srikantha or Lakhalisa claims that the Pasupatha system is a son of Lord Brahma when a form of Shiva emerged from Lord Brahma's eyebrow MBH B, 12, 349-67 The Sarva Darsana Samgraha of the Advaitin Saint Madhavakarya wrote in the text, the philosophical system of Lakhalan. Kaundinya's or Rishikara's Pancharta Basya discusses this sect. The Gana Karika of Basarvina too discusses this school in detail. The Pasupatha system is mentioned in the Vayuvya Samhita, some people including compilers of the Vayu and Linga Puranas to be a corresponding system of the Pancharatna. Topic see also Indian philosophy Kashmir Shaivism Shaiva Siddhanta topic Notes topic References Cowell, E. B., Goff, A. E. 2001. The Sarva Darsana Samgraha or Review of the Different Systems of Hindu Philosophy, Trubner's Oriental Series. Taylor and Francis. ISBN 978-0-415-24517-3. Flood, Gavin editor, 2003. The Blackwell Companion to Hinduism. Malden, M.A., Blackwell Publishing Ltd. ISBN 1-4051-3251-5, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link, Michaels, Axel 2004. Hinduism, Past and Present. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-08953-1